we are religious people. Uh, we, we can say that all people must have religion. While in this case, uh, talking about philosophy is very much. This video is about philosophy and in this recording, I'm gonna be talking about the relation of religion to philosophy or specifically uh, how to see religion from the perspective of philosophy. Uh, the main reason to talk about this is because specifically in Indonesia, uh, we are religious people. Uh, we can say that all people must have religion while in this case, uh, talking about philosophy is very much uh, related also to religion. So hopefully that uh, from this talk, we can uh, we are able to see religion from other perspectives. And uh, we are able to think objectively and we are able also to hold the, uh, our beliefs uh, with positive attitude. So there are some uh, principles that we need to know about our religion when when we see it from the perspective of philosophy. The first thing is that we must know our belief. Okay. Or in other words, we have to know our religion. We have to study it um, because basically there are many people believing in something, but actually there are only followers, real followers, in the sense that they blindly believe something. When, when given questions about why and how and what are the basic principles, they, they don't have any idea about what they uh, believe in. So this kind of situation must be avoided uh, by uh, studying the uh, religion. So we have to know, uh, we have to read the scripture, we have to study it, we have to understand the content, and we, we have to know the verses, uh, the, the fundamentals of the teachings, of the doctrines of the religion uh, in, 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 the, in this case. So um, if we don't know the the teachings, it means that we're not able to defend the, the doctrine that we believe in argumentatively. While from the perspective of religion, it, 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 it says that when, when you believe in something, you have to know it, you must be able to defend it, and you must be able to argue about it positively. So number one is that you have to know it, you have to uh, you have to be knowledgeable about the belief or about the religion that you uh, are holding. Number two, religion is not science. Okay, so this is from the perspective of religion. We have to underline that we're not talking about religion from the perspective of religion, but we're talking about religion from the perspective of philosophy. So from the perspective of philosophy, religion is not science. We have to admit that there are many believers like us, other many people in the religion believe that, that the scriptures are scientific uh, base for, for decisions, for, for um, many other things related to lives. However, this is not true from the perspective of philosophy. We have to differentiate the fact that scriptures containing science, scientific facts, is a whole different thing from claiming that the scripture is a scientific source. Okay. So, so 
um, from, from my religion, for example, we cannot deny that when reading the Bible, when reading the scripture, almost all of the books contain scientific fact. So when, when these facts are elaborated from the perspective of science, we cannot deny that these scriptures, these books, contain scientific facts. Like the wind, for example. Like the circulation of the water, for example. Like the blood system, for example. The, the body system. Scriptures talk about these scientific things. Uh, about, about the earth, about the universe talking about the scientific facts. However, we have to admit also that there are many aspects of our beliefs cannot be proven scientifically. Okay. When asked to prove, for example, where heaven is, or whether uh, hell exists or not, we cannot prove this scientifically. So, so there they are scientific facts discussed in the scriptures and thus in religion. However, from the perspective of philosophy, it, it doesn't mean that religion or the scriptures are uh, science. Okay, so the two different things. Okay. That's number two. So religion is not science. Number three, we can convince other people about our beliefs. So, so, so I used to say to people or to, to students that, that we believe in particular religion because we know or we are convinced that this is the best way of living and, and uh, also, the best teaching and the best uh, doctrines. Okay. So, so, so we can say, for example, from from the perspective of one religion, I'm going to hell, while they are going to heaven. So, in this case, these people around me who think and who understand, who believe that they are going to heaven, while me myself going to hell, they they. They must have this love to save me from going to hell. So in this case, when we think about this philosophically, it is very logical to assume or to consider that these people want to save me from going to hell. In other words, they, they need to convince me that the way I'm on right now it's, it's not the right way of living. It's not the right religion, for example, if that's what they, they think about that. So here, it means that it is okay to teach other people about our beliefs. This is, this is what philosophy thinks about, about religion. So it's, it's not forbidden. It, it is allowed. It is a normal thing. It is a natural thing to teach other people about uh, our religion or our beliefs. So, in this case, when 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 you when people ask me specifically, for example, okay, so what if we convert your family members into other kinds of believers, in which they now they will leave your church, they will leave the the religion that you are uh, holding right now into another different religion. Okay. So, so for me, that's, that's okay. So, so it's not a problem if, if you convert my family members, for example, to follow other uh, beliefs or other uh, religion. Because the principle is that these people think that what they believe in is the best way of living. So, so, so in this case, if I think that my way of living is the best one, my principles of life is the best one, it means that I also have to know it and I 
also have the responsibility to teach other people about my way of life and I have to know it. So there should be discussion in the way of, let's say, converting my sister or my, my brother. For example, there should be a discussion between them. So if they, if they, if they are successful in, in convincing these family members of mine into believing uh, in, in something else, this means that this, this family of mine does not know enough about the belief that they have currently uh, believed in. So, so that's a normal thing. It means that it is also not logical if people will get angry when I teach what I believe the truth or the right one to, to other people. So in, in this case, we have to understand that every individual has the same right. Okay. So if you have the right to convince other people about what you believe in, I also have the right to teach you, to convince you, to tell you what I believe, the truth. So same weight, same balance. So, and, and if I convince you, that's a good thing for me, even if your family members do not think that that's the good thing for you. Yeah. But in the other way around, if you, if you convince me, and then that's a good thing that you have done uh, for me. Okay. So, so it's okay to convince other people about what we believe in. The next one is that we have to be open for criticism. This, this one is really, really sensitive in, in Indonesia here. Because uh, we have the tendency that we do not allow other people to question our belief. From the perspective of philosophy, this is, this is not a good thing. This is not a good attitude. Because when you believe in something, you must have the arguments for this thing and you must be open to people and you must welcome other people to question it, to doubt it because this is the way for you to convince them or to test your belief. So basically, logically, it is okay for, for, for other people to question my belief to question my values, okay, the things that I believe in. So here, in other words, when, when this is the way we see religion, just like the way philosophy sees it, there should be no words such as blasphemy. Okay. So with this word blasphemy, it, it, it means that there is a shield to protect something vulnerable, something very, very weak. So, so, so we have, we have protected this. Do not ask anything about my belief. Do not doubt my belief. Do not question the scripture, the Bible that I believe in. Okay. So this is not logical to do. What's logical, what's okay to do is that because I know my religion, I know the scripture, and it's good and it's logical and it's, it's, it's good to follow. Okay, you can read it, you can question it, you can argue about it, and I will explain it to you. So it's open for criticisms. Okay, so we have to learn to discuss and and we we don't need to be to be very very sensitive about about our beliefs and then the next one is and and this is a very crucial aspect of what what philosophy thinks about religion or about the religious people or the believers is that you have to be 
kind. We have to be good. Okay. This is because from, from general perspective, being obedient is not the same as being good. Or knowing the doctrines of one's religion is not the same as knowing the values of human lives or knowing the good things or knowing how to love other people. So, so this means that we have to put the good principles that we know into practice. Okay. We have to be passionate about other people. So, so the, there are many people who claim that religion dogma corrupts the mind because it, 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 uh, they, they tend to think that it, it tends to, to lead us to be bad people because we just need to think about the doctrine without considering the values and the right of other people. So, studying philosophy, we have to understand that these are two different things. Okay? Being a good people, being kind to people, and knowing a lot about religion dogma are two different things. So, again, I have to emphasize that what we are talking about here is the religion from the perspective of philosophy. Because when we think, uh, and when we talk about religion from the perspective of religion, that will be something else and, and entirely different from what we're talking about here. But, but at least we can now see religion and our beliefs here, especially us as Indonesian people uh, listening to this, this video uh, from a different perspective. And hopefully we can be more, uh, more kind and more open for a discussion and, and less sensitive about uh, religion issues here in Indonesia. Thank you. Terima kasih sudah menyaksikan video pembelajaran ini. Jangan lupa like, comment dan subscribe serta nyalakan tanda loncengnya agar kalian tidak ketinggalan informasi update lainnya.